The Movement is a well-known brewery located in downtown St. Petersburg, Florida that has been in business for over 15 years. It prides itself on serving great beer with a good environment and plenty of entertainment. They have local bands come and play during the weekend and they have great specials going on during the week. So there is always something to do at the movement. The movement is always involving themselves in community activities to get their name out to new customers, but they have a lot of regulars that make their brewery the great place it is. Customers of the movement would have no idea what is going on behind the bar but this reality TV show will give you a view of the ins and outs of this establishment. Working at a bar may sound like all fun and games but there are many issues that can arise and if everything isn't running smoothly, it can all blow up at once. Andrew has noticed that his inventory and revenue reports have not been lining up and knows something is up. He trusts all his employees and doesn't think they would intentionally do something wrong, but he needs to solve this issue. He decides to install cameras in the brewery to figure out what is going on. Is someone stealing? Or was it just a simple mistake? Tune in to watch the drama unravel. Andrew is a beer connoisseur, he loves to share his knowledge, recipes, and passion for beer with his employees and customers. He is deeply involved in the daily policies and procedures of the bar and likes to be aware of the entire work environment. He believes he should lead by example and have trust in his employees. He tries to conduct team meetings as often as possible and agrees to listen to his employees' opinions to help his employees feel like part of the team to make the movement successful. Andrew is a passionate manager, he wants to see the business succeed. He diligently works to ensure the movement is profitable and keeps a great reputation. He is an aggressive manager who can at times become upset when employees are not following procedure or not keeping up with the positive environment. Andrew is a stern manager and prefers employees that catch on quick and have an upbeat, proactive attitude. Andrew works with his team by collaborating about their strengths and is open with them on where they can improve. Weekly team meetings are led by Andrew, however lately he has been extremely busy. He struggles with balancing his time spent with his employees and improving the revenue of the bar. His time management needs improvement for him to be able to handle all of the different aspects of the bar. The employees of the movement should be of the highest caliber to meet and exceed the customer's needs, and it is Andrew's job to ensure this happens. Mike is a full-time employee of the movement, and a dedicated worker. He has a passion for beer and finds joy in going around the world to taste different beers. Mike has seen the movement go through a few different owners, and has concluded that he knows his customers best. His view of bringing in revenue is geared toward his social consensus of offering free tastings, which he admits that it has gotten a bit out of hand, and an extensive beer knowledge. Mike has developed a bounded rationality model when it comes to handling the bar during his shift or resolving any problems. He believes that he has a social responsibility to take care of his customers and friends in a way that they will choose the movement for a hangout and bring in other customers through word of mouth. Mike's main driver for ethical decisions until this point has been the justice approach. Given that the previous owner of the brewery conducted business in a less ethical way, Mike focused on making sure he checked all IDs and followed the law so that he would not have to deal with the lawsuit himself. With new ownership the brewery seems to be doing better and Mike realizes that his approach to ethical decisions would need to encompass more of the moral rights approach. He wants to see the brewery doing well and wants to secure his position in the career that he has a passion for. Sky has been working for the movement as a part-time bartender for a year while she is in school. She enjoys hanging out at the movement even when she is off of work since it is the main hangout for her group of friends and her family. Sky's passion for beer doesn't go beyond beer pong with her friends on the weekends. Sky focuses on interpersonal justice and maintains an upbeat personality while at work. Working and going to school full-time can be overwhelming for Sky but she has shown her employer, Andrew, transparency on when she can work and what days she needs off for exams. She has noticed that her colleague Mike has been handing out beer to friends without making them pay, but Mike is her friend and he helped her get the job when she met him at the bar a year ago. Not knowing how to solve this ethical dilemma, Sky tried to stay out of it and figured Andrew would figure it out on his own when he put up cameras to monitor the beer output. Ed, short for Eduardo, is a well-known food truck chef and is known for making the best Mexican food in the city. He grew up in Mexico and always wanted to continue the family business of traditional Mexican food restaurants since he was a young boy. Now at the age of 61 he continues to serve his family's tasty homemade Mexican dishes from his food truck. 
Ed met Andrew at a local networking event shortly before he became the manager at the movement and the two knew that they wanted to work with each other from the very beginning. The day after meeting each other they arranged their current partnership, which allows Ed to sell his food in front of the movement's location. Ed's food truck brings much traffic to the movement and the movement gives the food truck a prime location in Downton to set up the truck. Both parties have been completely satisfied with the partnership. Aaron was the the movement's very first customer and has remained loyal to his new favorite brewery. Aaron is a VP at a local private equity firm which specializes in leveraged buyout, which operates on the 47th floor of the skyscraper across the street from the movement. He enjoys stopping by the movement during his lunch break to talk to his childhood friend Mike and have a drink to unwind from his stressful job. Aaron is extremely extroverted and charismatic and everyone at the brewery seems to enjoy his company except for Andrew. Aaron and Mike typically reminiscence over their childhood days and debate over the future outcomes of upcoming college football games. He also really appreciates the free drinks Mike serves him almost daily and he frequently tells all his co-workers that the movement is the best brewery in town. Aaron takes much pride in his business acumen and when the opportunity arises he gives Andrew business management tips, in an arrogant and egoistic manner which Andrew finds extremely embarrassing. In this episode, you will be introduced to the entire cast and learn about the brewery. Andrew is going through his monthly reports and notices there is a discrepancy with the revenue not matching the sales. He has to decide what he wants to do to manage this situation. He decides that it is in the brewery's best interest to install cameras and monitor his employees. If he finds that someone has been giving away free drinks, he will have to implement a corrective action. In the second episode you see Andrew installing the cameras in the brewery to see why his reports are not matching up. While he is installing the cameras the food truck manager, Ed, comes in for some water and notices. He asks Andrew why he is installing the cameras so Andrew explains what is happening. Andrew reviews the footage after some time has gone by and finds out that Mike has been giving his friend, Aaron, free beers. Andrew now has to confront his team and provide direction and coordination to ensure his business venture becomes profitable. Realizing he does have an ethical dilemma, Andrew decides to jot down some ideas on how to resolve this issue using classical decision making. This episode will show you how Andrew takes the necessary steps to determine exactly what he needs to do. In this episode we see Andrew continue to monitor the brewery and then show each employee how to do inventory. He also implements some action on Mike for giving away drinks. In this episode, Sky tells Andrew about a software that she learned of in school that could be used at the movement. This software records the number of liters that passes through a flowmeter at the tap spigot. Andrew can now accurately record which beers are sold more and which waste with a frothy head that is poured out. He can now adjust the price per beer accordingly, to prepare for the influx of fancy purchases to large screen TVs for game days. In attempts for Andrew to become more customer-oriented and change his focus off revenue in the bank loan, he focuses on meeting and spending time in the bar with the locals and patrons and less time in his office. He has introduced a trivia night, a bingo night and cornhole tournaments where the winners can receive gift cards to the movement. In this episode, Andrew informs his employees that he will be monitoring each employee's individual behavior over the next week and take personal note of what is getting done, what is not getting done, and how they go about certain situations. Andrew will also have bi-weekly staff meetings where his employees can raise concerns or ask questions about the movement. This way, Andrew will be more in control as well as have a good relationship among his employees. A few weeks go by and Andrew notices a difference in the atmosphere of his bar. His employees seem to be doing their jobs with more enthusiasm and his books are balancing which tells him that no one is giving out any more free beer. Andrew helped Mike understand that he was a valued employee of the brewery but that giving away beer for free isn't an effective way to retain customer loyalty. Due to Mike's large circle of friends and family, Andrew offered an idea of a family and friends night, once per month, 
when employees can offer a discounted rate for their close friends and relatives. Andrew's efforts to gain an authoritative yet friendly demeanor with his employees helped him achieve a comparative advantage to his competitors.